Hi guys and welcome back to another Let's Build episode. So last time we were finishing up part of East Point right up to the border with the next district. And in this episode we're going to continue on and keep on finishing this up. We're so close to the end of finishing up East Point. Now if you guys are new to the channel at all, we do a lot of tutorials and time lapses just like this one. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also guys, if you're new to this series, I'll leave a link in the card above as well as in the description to not only the full Let's Build Lord Support series, but also the Let's Build Pataria series. Anyway, let's get into building. So the kind of area that we've actually got left is all along the inner cliff here. Because we've got the church, that gives us a nice natural blocking point. I put in with some orange wall there, just some little bits of roads, the kind of rough plan. Um, and with this section in particular, because I kind of knew, you know, uh, what I was going for, I wanted to actually fully plan this out. So get lots of wall blocks in there, just kind of outlining the houses that we're going to have on this hill, because this is quite a hilly area, it's quite a cliffy area. Um, that will kind of help. And then just building these up and then trying to flatten out some of the ground as well. Um, just so that I can know, you know, what different height levels are we using. Because we have got such a, a kind of hilly area, um, this actually allows me to play around with lots of these different height levels. So we can have almost like layers of houses going back. Now what I'm planning with the kind of bottom section as well is just to have a little bit of a pier, a little bit of a dock. Uh, just there we'll have a ship moored up as well. I think that will look really cool. And of course, with this part that we've got right next to the church, um, I think what we need is an open kind of square um, kind of area. We might put in some trees, things like that. I think that'll look really cool um, because we need more of these open spaces in the city. Although they would be really cramped in medieval times, um, these spaces would be, you know, the natural meeting points. Um, now, right on the point, right on the absolute point, which will be the last episodes of East Point as a whole, we're actually going to be building a castle. So because of this, I wanted to actually make some of these houses a little bit bigger. That's the whole plan, is just to make them a little bit bigger, make them a little bit grander, uh, and also the kind of entryway, this kind of area next to the church, having that more open uh, will look really good. And I can imagine the church, of course, being so powerful in medieval times, uh, actually having that, you know, having the kind of extra space, uh, the kind of luxury of space, uh, which will really help. But there'll also be, you know, a nice area for meeting uh, and things like that. So getting on to the first house, we're actually building this one right next to the first house that I actually built in Lawsport uh, so, so many episodes ago, which is crazy when you think about it, um, which was before I'd really got the hang of angled buildings. So of course, because that one's on a straight, uh, I needed to go for angled straight away. Um, but also it, it matches the kind of area, um, it will push it forwards as well from that original house uh, with its archway, um, which is really cool. But um, yeah, it's absolutely crazy to think how far we've actually come in these episodes. Um, it has taken quite a long time, but um, this is definitely the biggest project that I've worked on and actually continued working on as well because I've tried some big things before and not been able to complete them. But with this series, uh, I am absolutely determined to keep going uh, because so far it is looking so good. I'm so happy with how the entirety of Lord's Port is actually turning out. So we go, we've got a nice house there, this time using the kind of bluey colours, trying to use more of these colours around, because um, it just it just adds a really nice variety to the different houses, and you know, it's almost like a status symbol, especially across the waterfront. I can imagine people have been, you know, quite proud of the, the different colours and, you know, making their house stand out, um, so that when you've got, you know, buildings coming, uh, not buildings, ships coming in from the ocean um, and coming into port, they can actually see that all happening. So building up another one, this one is going to be quite a bit bigger, or is quite a bit bigger. Um, so I think what we'll probably end up doing is some sort of restaurant, something like that perhaps in these. Um, you know, really building up the whole industry, the whole kind of inner workings of the city. Of course, not everything will have shops down below, but um, it is an easy place to, well, sell things, isn't it? You know, your bottom floor, especially if you're on one of these main roads, makes a lot of sense to actually have a business in there. So probably the last, you know, the first floor um, of the actual house itself will probably go for a restaurant. Now here I wanted to make a kind of squiggly road going all the way down. Um, so this is just going to be a nice natural path down to those docks that we'll end up building nearer. Uh, probably into the next episode I think we'll probably get into that. So building up another house here um, just at the bottom. Like I was saying earlier I wanted to have these kind of layered 
houses um, and have different styles. This one I decided to actually push out the front, although it's usually we, we end up pushing out one of the sides of this, actually having the front part of it pushed out and then putting in a window here. I was trying to, you know, try out different things. Um, and you guys should never be afraid to try out different things. If it works, sometimes it works great, sometimes it doesn't. It doesn't really matter because, um, you know, when you look around in the real world, um, <laughs> you see that sometimes, you know, house, house styles that you go, that's a bit odd, but okay, it kind of works. Um, you know, try to do the same thing in your Minecraft builds. Um, but overall, I was actually pretty happy with this one, especially with using the slabs. Um, I just thought it ended up finishing up nicely. So, as we're getting into this section here, I wanted to build up all of this area right next to the church. So what I decided to do is put in a nice little angel statue. Um, this was so much more difficult than I thought it was going to be because I was trying to make it really, really small. Um, but, you know, overall I think I'm pretty happy with it. Um, another thing that we just haven't got in Lordsport, and somebody actually pointed it out to me in the comments, was we haven't got any wells. How are people going to get water? So, um, you know, I decided to put in a well in this area here. Um, so we've actually got wells with two buckets in it. Um, also need some more nature and bits and pieces around the place in Lawnsport to really give it a little bit more colour, a little bit more green. Um, so I ended up putting in a couple trees here. So we've got a birch tree on the side there with some nice flowers, um, as you can see there. It just makes the whole kind of church area, it makes it look quite nice, quite different. We've got a nice open area here as well where we can end up putting lots more, you know, things like market stalls things like that maybe you know the church is trying to raise some money um, but so far guys really happy with how this build is turning out um, I think in the next episode we'll finish up the houses on this side and then we can start building onto the castle over the next few episodes but hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode if you have make sure to comment like and subscribe and as always guys I'll see you on the next one